Hi guys, today I'm here to do the booktube top tens tag. I was tagged by Liz Schubert. I will leave her channel as well as the creator link down below. This is a tag video where you're kind of supposed to list 10 books that you really love. I'm really not good at explaining these kind of things, so you really need to go watch the original video that I will link down below. It has all of the information of what you can add on this list and what you can't. So the creator of this tag will be putting all of these books together in kind of like spreadsheet form. But again, I'll just let him explain it, so definitely go check out his video for all of the information. As for my list, I'm going to be doing all of my favorite books. These are books that I've probably read at least twice, so like the creator, I will not be talking in detail about these books. I may just say a few words about the books. This was extremely hard to just choose 10. I've noticed a lot of people who have done this video have also had a hard time just choosing 10. But let's just go ahead and get on into my top 10 favorite books. Number one is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is the one book that finally got me into reading. I was about 20 or 21 and I read it and fell in love with it and I've read it probably a dozen times. Number two is A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. This is one of the few nonfiction that I have on my list, and this is what got me into reading all Hemingway, and, and it really made me fall in love with all of his writing. Number three is Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. If you don't count these as one book, then I would probably choose Through the Looking Glass. The Disney cartoon was my favorite as a child, and I have seen it about a hundred times. I can pretty much quote every line from that movie, so I started reading the book about every year. So I have also read this a dozen times. I absolutely love this story. Number four is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This was my first book about mental health and I marked a bunch of stuff in it. I really love this book. And side note, I've actually done a review on this, so if you want to go check that out, it will be linked in the description. Number five is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I really like a few Jane Austen books, but this is the one that I have read a dozen times. It's just a really great comfort read for me that I can just pick up and read anytime. Number six is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Again, I've read this quite a few times and I just love this story. Number seven is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I've also read this a couple of times. I really love this story, and this is just definitely an American classic. Number eight is You Are Here by Jenny Lawson. I don't know if this one really counts. I don't know what you would really categorize this book in, but this has become one of my new favorite books, and I just happened to read this at the perfect time. It's a really uplifting book about mental health. Number nine is And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Bachman. I unfortunately don't have a copy of this, so I can't hold it up, but this is just a novella that I think I read in about an hour. And this was extremely emotional, and I absolutely love this, and I would recommend it to anyone. And number 10 is We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Again, this is just a short novella, but I think everyone should definitely read this. I've read it a couple of times, and I wish that I could just give this book out to anyone I meet. Okay, so that was my top 10 list. I definitely recommend that you guys do a video or a blog post for this tag. I'm really interested to see more people's top 10 list. So leave a comment down below if you have done this, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!